Jane. Jane, thank you for this, Father Simon. P uh, PG certificate? Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, PG. I mean, only slightly. Yeah. Father Simon, firstly, I should start this by saying this is not the usual confession. It's more, should I forgive those who have trespassed against oh, me? Oh, I do like those. Nice. Yeah, you see, that's a different, has a slightly different spin. There you go. The incident took place many years ago in Gran Canaria. I was on holiday with my husband, my two children, my best friends, and their two children. I don't know if you've been to Gran Canaria, but it is a fine place for a family holiday. While we were there, we decided to visit a water park. Now, I'm not a great swimmer, but the children were excited about going, as were the other adults, so I was happy to tag along. When I was a kid, we were lucky to have a blow-up paddling pool for water fun, or occasionally a water fight with a hose and some plaster ba plastic bags on a, the top of a multi-storey car park. But that's another story. Different times, Father <laughs> yes. Simon. Right, OK. Mm -hmm. We settled ourselves close to the children's pools, plural, and after a while, the adults became restless. Books had been glanced at, music had been listened to, the crossword had been done. Now what? Well, everyone wanted to explore, so... I volunteered to watch the children so my husband and his fr well, our friends could go and make the most of the many slides in the pools. I didn't want to go anyway, so this was the perfect way to earn extra parenting points. Nice. Not that I needed any, because I'm the mother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometime That was a very knowing yuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sometime later, they returned full of fabulously exciting tales of the fun that they had had. There were so many rides. There was a, a ride called the Splasharama, mm. the oh, nice. Pico de Agua. How would you say that in Spanish? Pico de Agua. Pico de Agua. <laughs> Pico de Agua. <laughs> what does that mean? Say it really quick. It's, uh, it's a very, very complex word. So, uh, well, so. Agua is water. Yes, correct. So and Pico is, is a very complex <laughs> word. There was also one called a Super Soaker. There. It means being soaked in a super way. They were all amazing, apparently. And then they said that there was a ride that I would be okay going on as there was no plunge pool at the end. And I agreed to go and have a look, because the slide is one thing, but the plunge pool makes me feel very unhealthy, all those germs. And one look at it, and you can tell that, you know... <laughs> <laughs> like the, what? That, well, that the kids could have got out at least oh, right. beforehand. Oh, lovely. Also, you can, you, your head goes underwater in a plunge pool. That's right. Anyway, uh, Jane didn't want any of that. Well, the slide was huge, but true to their word, there was no plunge pool at the end. It was just water running down, and then at the end, you slowed down and you climbed out. I watched other people going down, and it did indeed look innocent enough. I should have been alerted, really, by the slide's name, which was Kamikaze. <laughs> <laughs> There's the clue. But not wanting to look a complete wimp in front of the children and my friends, I agreed to go on. The instructions, a big letter said, Every meter, a new adventure. 68 meters, if you're brave enough... Push yourself off at the start and get down first. Well, I wanted to be first, obviously. The children were positioned at the bottom of the slide and I climbed the stairs with my husband and my dear friends. <laughs> my supportive friends. Yeah. They were still reassuring me that all would be well. They would be going down with me as there were four chutes side by side. We all took our position. I was instructed to lie down, cross my hands across my chest and just go. Husband to my left, two best friends who I could always rely on <laughs> yes. to my right. Okay. This, of course, is the, oh heavens, what am I about to do moment. Yeah. Which everyone has at the top of one of those slides. But it, anyway, says Jenny, it was really too late to back off now. Ready, steady, go. Well, off I went at a ridiculous speed, water shooting in all directions. I felt like I was experiencing colonic irrigation, Father Lovely. Simon. Great. 68 oh, wow. metres of the most unusual pressures, let me say. <laughs> I tried to hold my nose, but then realised that my bikini was not staying in place. Oh, I should no. probably have mentioned that I was wearing my old bikini and not my glamorous new one, which would have stayed on. So maybe my old one was a little worn and feeble where it should have been strong. Oh, dear. Mm -hmm. I didn't know whether to protect my dignity or to try and stop myself drowning. <laughs> so obviously not drowning seemed no. the option. Yeah, uh, my top flew away. I managed to wow. grab it as I shot down the chute at 100,000 miles an hour. Slight exaggeration. Yeah. I remember thinking, I'll say no to the official photograph. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. They always no. take them. Oh, no. 
The only saving grace was the kamikaze didn't last long, but at the bottom of the slide, uh, after reapplying my top and pulling my bikini bottoms back into the places oh, best I could, Lord. I turned to look for my husband and friends to discover they were all sitting at the top of the slide, laughing hysterically. Apparently, it's notorious for its swimwear malfunctions, like mine, and they let me have mine. <laughs> So I, I ask you, should I forgive? That's my question. Because they knew what was going to happen and they set me up good and proper. That's what I'm asking. Let's check in. Nice fade there, Sam. Cross fade. <laughs> well done, a cross fade, Excellent. in fact. Sister Susie. Well, I feel like if you were going to a water park, you should have probably wore some supportive... Stockings. <laughs> Yes, supportive socky. No, su- supportive swimwear because you know what you, you know what's going to happen. Yes. You need to be, you know, ready for it. So I kind of feel like she should take some responsibility, but they were a bit mean. So I don't think she should forgive. Uh, Brother Matthew from the um, other So, uh, you know, yes, it's, it's called kamikaze. Uh, don't get on it if you're just wearing a bikini. That's certainly my life lesson. Um, yes. So I, I'm, I'm going to forgive here. You know, all water feeling when you're dancing on the sealant. Oh, yes. <laughs> Taking us back to those glorious days earlier this week. So I'm going to forgive.